Hello guys, my name is Taimon Lisa Fombe and I'm from Sikhi Teachers College. And before I say anything, I just want to say happy International Youth Day. And um, 12th August has been a day where youth are, are always celebrated. Why? Because we believe that youth are not only the present, but they're also the future of the nation and also the backbone of today. Uh, as we have noted that a number of people in Zimbabwe are youths, which are encompass who can encompass more than sixty-seven percent of the population, which indeed means everything is about youth. And uh, uh, like somebody just said, uh, as youth, we need to use this time, we need to use this uh, moment to show that we also can do it. And also, uh, we need to bring about creative, innovative, uh, transformative, and futuristic, you know, futuristic ideas which can help us uh, improve our society. And uh, when we are looking at our thing, which talks about intergenerational solidarity, we are talking, we are saying that everyone, despite their ages, they should come come together and work together. And also, we are aging. Uh, the elder generation to remove that something they call ageism, which is the stereotyping of young people, the stereotyping of, uh, you know, our capacity that we can't do it because we are so young. And going back to issues to do with, um, comprehensive sex education, it is imperative that the older generation and the younger generation work together to remove taboos that are harmful to our young people. You can know that uh, a young girl can be, your future can be destroyed because uh, of certain beliefs that are, that, that harm her. For example, there is female genital mu mutation, forced marriages. And if we work together, people of different ages, we can fight against those things. And that young girl can have dreams, can also become the future generation, can also become the next minister, can also become the next daughter, uh, the next doctor. So we need to work together as as people of different ages to to bridge a gap in sexual reproductive information and services among people. And if we know that uh, a highest percentage of young people are the ones who are, you know, uh, infected by viruses like HIV and AIDS, because there is a gap in information dissemination, there is a gap in, you know, tolerance and acceptance that young people can also make decisions for themselves. Uh, to achieve the sustainable development goals, the world needs to leverage the full potential of all generations and solidarity across generations without leaving no one behind. That includes young people, because as I have said, young people, they are not only the future, but they are the present of the nation. <laughs>